Hi, I'm Hank. I make videos on this channel about science, and one thing we talk a lot about is engineering. Engineers build all kinds of amazing things, and one way they do it is by understanding shapes. For example, one thing they need to know is how to make different shapes work together to make the strongest structure. If they know all of these secrets, they can make things that look impossible. And that is what you'll do in this activity. In this trick, I will balance a full cup of water on top of the tips of butter knives. It seems like the knives should fall down, but they will not. To do this, you're going to need three butter knives, three plastic soda bottles, a plastic cup, and some water. First, arrange the three bottles in a triangle so that they are all equal distances apart. Make sure that they're close enough that if you set the handle of a butter knife on one of the bottles, it can reach the center of the triangle. Then, on a table or other flat surface, layer the knives so that the tip of each knife rests on the middle of another knife. Together, they should form a small triangle. Now, carefully set your knife structure on top of the bottles, placing one knife handle on each bottle. Then, set your cup on top of the knives where they intersect. It won't fall, but to really prove how stable this is, you can fill that cup up with some water. Oh, bam. This structure might look like it's defying gravity, but it's just physics in action. Because of how the knives are set up, the weight of the cup is spread out so that it isn't all focused on the tips of the knives, and that's why the cup doesn't fall. Just because you know how this works, though, doesn't mean you've learned everything there is to learn about this experiment, though. For example, what would happen if you used longer knives? What about a heavier glass? Feel free to experiment and let us know how changing different parts of this setup changes the results. What's the heaviest glass you can use for this experiment without everything falling down? If you figure it out, leave us a comment below this video. Thanks for watching this video and for experimenting with us. If you want to learn more about the world around you, we have plenty of other science videos that cover everything from chemistry to psychology. And we also have more than 350 videos over at youtube.com slash scishowkids. Whether you're going through this kit for the very first time or the hundredth, thank you. We hope you learned a lot, that you had a great time, and most importantly, that it made you even more curious about the world.